As for that great form of Newcastle that I mentioned, it's still quite a story a day later. They're now unbeaten guys in their last seven Premier League matches. They're in the top four for the first time in a decade. How are you making sense of their recent run of success? I just think Eddie Howe's done an incredible job. I think first things first is that when he took over, he said that he had to sacrifice his principles. I remember speaking to him and he said that there's enough pressure on the players without trying to evolve so quickly. So first job was to make sure they stayed safe in the league, which they did that. He, he went in after 11 games, hadn't won a game. And, you know, they didn't want to win until, I think, the 15th game of the season. And then what he's done slowly but surely brought plays in in January, he's brought plays in in the summer. And one of the things that, that, that everybody seems to talk about is, oh, well, he spent money. He has, but if you look at the players that are really standing out for him at the moment, Joe Ellington, Almiron, Longstaff, Cher, they were players that were at the club previously. So he's not only showing that he's able to bring good players in, but he's also showing that he's able to coach and make players better as well. So they're in a, they're in a really good spot at the moment. It's exciting times for Newcastle. In a wonderful spot there, back into that mm -hmm. top four. First mm -hmm. time in a long time sitting in fourth place. This, this great form yeah. that we've seen. What's impressed you the most? That, that Eddie Howe has lifted a football club. He's brought joy back to the football club. And now listen to his press conference on Friday before this game. And obviously going to a big six club. He said something special is happening at Newcastle United. And we as a team are feeling it. And, and some of these scenes after the game, Paul, reminiscent of a team that's starting to believe in what the manager's saying. And Danny's right. The balance between good signings coming in, but players who've been at the football club... Miguel Almiron is, is, looks like a completely different player in terms of what the output that he's giving to the football club. There's a real nice balance of quality in industry. And if no, fa if, if no points, no wins, no goals were scored by Newcastle United, 50,000 people would turn up. But they're so delighted that they've now got an identity, that they're playing progressive football, that yesterday against Tottenham, an established big six teams, Newcastle were the better side. Progressive football, he calls it. What about mm. this style that they're winning with? It's, it is, it's progressive, and I would say that the identity we're starting to see now with Eddie Howe, what I was really impressed with yesterday is how they took the strength of Tottenham away from them. So one of the things that we've seen in recent times with Eddie Howe, his players want to press high up the pitch, but a lot of the times you do that against Tottenham, you know that they want to counter-attack against you. But what he did, he set his players up, players up in a manner that if that press was broken initially they were never going to be really in trouble defensively. So he's just got the balance right at the moment, and they're not reliant on one player. I think there's so many standout performers in amongst the team, and the biggest thing is, is when, when I spoke to Eddie Howard about his recruitment, he said the most important thing is that I bring the right characters in. Mm. Yes, I want them to be good players, but it's more important that the characters are right for this dressing room. And you see, you've just seen the clips there. After the game yesterday, yeah. they are all one, Clear. and they're all at one with the fans as well, and it's amazing to see. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. For even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you over there.